Yo, what's up guys? It's Kaifo here, and today I'll be showing you guys my new squad for NBA 2K23. I know I've been gone for a while, and uh, here's my return, so let's get into the video. Alright, so for my starting point guard, very underrated card, I think. Um, I Actually, I don't know. But uh, Terry Rozier, the way you get him is you get him from Domination. Uh, yeah, he's 6'1", which is kind of short, but he has 85 three-point, which is very good right now. He has 70 dunk at 6'1", which is also fire. And then an 88 ball handle with very, it's usable defense, uh, not good rebounding, obviously. 86 speed and 80 speed with ball, 86 acceleration, and, uh, yeah, he's overall a very good card. Um, very easy to get from domination. So, yeah. Alright, for my shooting guard position, my card that I'm going for is Chris Mullen. Now, Chris Mullen is very good, uh, like a 3 and D wing, or shooting guard. Um, he has a very, uh, very good 3-pointer at 93. Um, pretty good driving dunk. 76 ball handle, which is usable. Uh, 79 steel, 86 perimeter, 72 interior, which is very, very good at this point. 79 speed, which is really good. Or, not really good, pretty good. Uh, 70 speed with ball. And, yeah, overall, very good card. For my starting small forward, I pick LeBron James. Now, he's very good. Uh, he can really do everything on the court. He can shoot really good. He can dunk really good. He can handle the ball. He can play defense. He can rebound. He can run fast. And so obviously he's just a well-rounded small forward. And that's why I chose him. Now at my power forward position, it's very tough. Because there's a bunch of good guys like Kevin Love, Pau Gasol, and like Paul Millsap. But I chose Pau Gasol. Because although his jumper is bad, he still has a high three-pointer. Um, I did put a shoe on him, but he can dunk it pretty good. Uh, can't handle the ball really well, but his defense is really good. He can rebound. He doesn't have terrible speed. And he's pretty good. So that's my starting power forward. For my starting center, uh, I picked DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, he's very good. Um, he's six foot ten, which is pretty good, and he's two seventy pounds, so he's, he won't get bullied in the paint. Uh, he has a three ball at seventy three, which is a pretty good jumper too with him. Uh, he's really good at standing dunks. He has a ninety standing dunk and an eighty driving dunk. Then he has a seventy two ball handle, which is crazy for a big man. Then his defense is really good: eighty one block, seventy four steal, seventy nine interior. Very good. And then for rebounding, 87 and 88. Very, very good. 61 speed is pretty bad. But the defense and the ball handle and the three ball makes up for that. For my bench point guard, I do have Steph Curry or John Rondo. But I pick John Morant because of the state of the game right now. It's like all rim running and barely any shooting. But... He's very good. He has a good jumper. He's an 81 three ball, which is definitely usable. Um, an 85 dunk, which is very also very usable and very good right now. Uh, an 87 ball handle, which is very good. Um, okay defense. He has good perimeter and a pretty good steal. So he'll be fine. Um, on speed, he's 86 speed. He's very athletic. He's very 86 speed with ball. And... Uh, yeah, he's very good, well-rounded, uh, except for defense, but he won't be guarding the paint, so that's fine. But, yeah, that's my bench point guard. All right, for my bench shooting guard, I have Fred Jones. Uh, now, Fred Jones, um, although he has a 75 three-pointer, since the game state is at, like, a rim running only, he has a 90 driving dunk, which is very good. And he's very good around the rim. Uh, 88 dri uh, driving layup. Uh, a 92 close shot. So he's going to be in 92 draw foul. So he's going to be drawing fouls. Getting uh, all over the rim. 
and he can even shoot the ball. It's a 75, so that's even better. Now he has an 82 three, 82 ball handle. Um, with that ball handle, he definitely dribble. Uh, he can get around his enemy or the defenders, and uh, the block and the defense. Black isn't very good, but not worried about the block at the shooting guard position. Uh, the steel is very usable, 79, very good. And the perimeter is 75, it's very usable too. Now for the interior defense, um, like I said, he's a shooting guard, so you won't be really worried about that. Same thing with the rebounding. He has an 80 speed, which is very good, and a 75 speed with the ball, which is also very good. With my backup small forward, I have Kelly Trupaka or Trupuka, whatever. Now, he's very good at many different things. Well, mostly shooting. But he can also kind of finish around the room, too. He has a 78 layup and an 82 three ball, which is very good. Especially because he's a budget card. At, he's a, a sapphire. So, he has got an 80 driving dunk, which is very good. Um. So, he has his offensive game. He has a 79 ball handle, which is very good. Um, he has a 75 block, and just great on defense. Like at this time, definitely for a sapphire, 75 blocks and 79 steals, 75 perimeter, very good on defense, and on offensive rebounding and defensive rebounding or whatever, not very good. Or not very bad actually. It's actually pretty good. 79 speed is definitely usable, especially for a small forward. And uh, 76 speed of the ball is also usable. Alright, for my backup power forward, I have Kevin Love. Um, he's very good at shooting. He has an uh, 87 three ball. Beginning of the game, it's very good. He also has a very good jumper. And he has 76 driving layup, 80 standing dunk, 65 driving dunk, which is definitely usable, especially for a power forward. Not very good ball handle, but since Kevin Love is more of a catch and shoot type of guy, that's fine. Uh, he has okay defense, 79 block, which is very usable. 68 steal, but he's not a perimeter guy, so you don't need to worry about steal and perimeter defense. 74 interior defense, which is fine, but 90 rebounding is very good uh, with him, and I think that's a very good plus. Now, he only has a 45 speed, but since he's only a catch-and-shoot guy, uh, basically, you won't be needing speed that much. And he has f 94 stamina. So, yeah, very pretty good shooter and very good jumper. Now, for my backup center, he is a bit short, but I like Paul Millsap. The reason is is because he doesn't have a three ball. But he's very good finisher, 75 dunk. But in the game, it does not feel like a 75 dunk. It feels like he's dunking everything. He has a 76 ball handle, which is very good, especially for power forward slash center. Um, defense is very good, 70 block, uh, 82 of perimeter and interior. Uh, that's pretty good. And then for boards, he doesn't play like he has a 75 and 82, but he grabs like a bunch of boards. 66 speed is fine, especially for his, like, a center. And 44 speed with balls is very bad, but he won't be having the ball very much since he's a center. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, like, basically my day one uh, starter. Or, like, squad, I guess you could say. Day one squad. Um, I didn't spend that much time on him. I've done... A uh, bunch of grinding, though. Um, I got very lucky by getting uh, Chris Mullen um, and Kevin Love. I got Rajon Rondo. Uh, I got Rajon Rondo and Demarcus Cousins. Also, I got Ruby, John Morant, and Joel Embiid. And then I got Jimmy Butler to a Sapphire. So I've been doing a lot of grinding. And, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. And subscribe while you're at it. And that's been me, Kaifo. And I'm out. Peace.